Hello everyone, Jamie Bataille with GoHeaders.com and I am pleased to be joined today by new Stetson University softball head coach, Shelly Robinson. Coach, how are you doing today? I'm doing well, how are you Jamie? Great. Uh, I know you are super excited to have this position. What makes this opportunity so special for you? Well, you know, I grew up in Deland. My family's been in Deland for over 75 years. So just this community alone uh, is, is special to me. And being able to come back and, and coach the Stetson Hatter softball team is something that I think that I've always dreamed about doing. And now it's become a reality. And so just being here, being at this school, um, leading these, this group of athletes is are just a couple of reasons of why I'm so excited to be back. You had such a tremendous playing career, started just down the road at Deland High School, Hall of Famer at USC Upstate, and then uh, four years in the NPF with Akron and Cleveland. You also got into coaching. You've been an assistant coach at North Greenville, at Furman in the last two years here at Stetson. Yeah. How have your experiences uh, made you confident that you're ready to be the head coach here at Stetson? I think it's just playing, playing at a high level, playing in the A-Sun, um, winning in the A-Sun, you know, mm -hmm. at USC Upstate we won three titles while I was there, uh, and then just going to the next level and playing in the NPF, uh, you know, learning from the best of the best, playing against the best of the best, and just using those experiences on the other side of the field as, as a coach. Um, and, and then just the people that I have around me. Um, you, you know, my parents have, have done a lot for me, taking me places, uh, and just, you know, instilling a, a characteristic in me of don't ever give up, you know, don't make excuses, do what you need to do, and everything's earned, it's, it's not given. And so just the, the playing and, and just being around good people, I think has really prepared me for this. What do you think you learned with the two years here under Coach Griffin, who obviously had been in charge of this program for 25 years? Oh, I learned so much from him. You know, 25 years just at Stetson, over 30 years coaching experience, uh, just picking his brain and, and being able to coach under him and, and learn from him. Um, and then obviously learning about field work and <laughs> field maintenance and things like that, uh, just to really encompass everything that it takes to be a, a, a coach. Uh, and, and just learning about him as a person. I knew he was a great person, but being with him day in and day out really just locked that in uh, of just how wonderful he really is. What do you want the student athlete experience to be like uh, for the players of the Stetson softball program? You know, as a student athlete myself, you want it to be enjoyable. I want them to have fun. I want them to, to do well, um, but I want to challenge them. Um, I want to put them in challenging environments uh, with people that we play. Uh, I want to challenge them in the classroom. You know, Stetson's very high academic, so I think that um, coming here, they know that they're going to get a good education. But for me, it's, it's staying on top of that and making sure that they're doing what they need to do. Uh, getting involved in the community, you know, teaching them that lending a helping hand is, is something that can take you a very long way. And then just developing them as people, more so as players, uh, developing them as leaders on and off the field um, so they can leave here and be as successful as they want to be uh, in whatever they decide to do. So people measure success in a lot of different ways as far as this program goes. What are some of your goals for the team, maybe both academically and athletically? Academically, I would love to see a 3-5 team, team GPA or higher, which we usually do pretty good about that. Um, so that should be a pretty right. attainable goal for us. And then athletically, again, just I want them to compete. Mm -hmm. I want to come in and I want to compete non-conference schedule. And I want them to come in and I want to I want to win an ASUN championship. You know, that's everybody's goal is win a conference championship. But, you know, I think that it's I think it's attainable. And I think that coming in and, and having the right mindset, it's, it's something that we can do in the first couple of years. What are some of those building blocks that it's going to take to reach those goals? You know, what are some things, what are some keys to success for the program? Uh, for me, it's a lot about communication and, and building relationships. If you build relationships with your athletes um, and your support staff and the people in the community, then you're going to be successful. Um, it's not just about wins and losses. It's, it's about people. You know, it's, a, it's a very much a, a people career that we're in here and so that that's a big key point for me you know if you have your athletes and they trust you then they're gonna run through a brick wall for you and, and same goes for me um, so that you know the community involvement getting the land involved um, getting the Stetson University as a whole involved it, is a big key for it uh, alumni I would love to get alumni more involved get them out to more games do some things for them um, you know because they they were the ones that came before us you know some of them, this was the, the first time they played, 2003 was on this field. Yep. Um, so getting them back to this field and so they can see you know, where we've come from there. Um, and, and you know, player development, 
I want my athletes to come here. I want them to, to grow as people and as, and as players um, and, and develop and, and get better not only on the field but off the field as well. And then just good recruiting. I've, I've got to get good athletes in here who want to compete um, at a high level and who, who want to win. Stetson softball has uh, a rich tradition, a uh, lot of winning seasons, a lot of championships. Um, the way I kind of look at it is now it's going to have maybe a different seasoning to it. So uh, what are some characteristics of a Shelly Robinson coach team? What is practice going to be like? What are games going to be like? Their practices are going to be tough. They're going to be fun. They're going to be um, fast paced, but they're going to be challenging. Like I said, you know, I, I want to challenge these athletes. You don't grow in an area where you're comfortable. So, you know, sometimes we're going to be a little bit uncomfortable, but we're going to grow, we're going to get better, um, we're going to be gritty. Like I said, we're not going to make excuses. Uh, everything is going to be earned, not given. Um, and, and I think that they're going to find that they can find some fun in that. They can find some fun in, in being pushed to their limits. Um, and, and so that's what I want practices to be like. Uh, games are going to be just, hey, we've, we've put the work in, now you just got to do your thing, you know? And um, I'm really excited about seeing what we're going to do in games after practices have been a little bit more challenging for them. Uh, as far as uh, scheduling goes, the A-Sun is adding a couple more teams this year, so that will uh, obviously be a challenge. But when it comes to non-conference scheduling, uh, what's your philosophy? What kind of opponents uh, do you want to see the team play? I think we have to have a good balance of opponents. But for me, like I said, I've, I've used the word challenge a lot. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to be facing opponents that are going to challenge us. We're going to have to really step up and compete against them. Uh, I, won't, I won't give any names, but be on the lookout for our, our 2022 schedule. We've got a couple big names on the schedule um, that I'm excited about um, that I, I think are going to be fun games for us, um, learning experiences and, and just getting out there and, and competing with the best of the best. Uh, last question for you. Um, obviously, recruiting is, is going to be a huge part of your, your job. Uh, for any future Stetson Hatters out there, uh, why Stetson? Why should they come? be a hatter? Well, not only the facilities, uh, the campus, the location, all of those good things, you're going to come and, and like I said, you're going to grow as an athlete and as a person. You're going to know that people care about you, that, that they want you to succeed, um, but you're going to compete. You're going to come in and you're going to be challenged. Um, and it, it's, it's going to be a fun four years for those athletes that just do decide to come. Best of luck to you. I know uh, you're looking forward to the students getting back on campus and we'll check in with, with you again soon. Thanks, James. All right.